What, what up, up with it? it? Q Han at you. Auntie. Welcome to the channel. If you are new to our channel, make sure you hit a subscribe button right now. Hit that thing one time. We're greatly appreciated. If you, yes, you took the time to do so, man. How y'all doing with the pandemic, bruh? Whole world done changed out here, man. Literally. Whole world. Like just like that, man. <laughs> I mean, it really kind of phased through so it went overnight, but it was kind of overnight. It hit hard. It hit hard. It did for real, for real, man. Just, you know, we maintain it. We still, for the most part, our life about the, about the same, for real, for real. Instead it's, of having to go into work. Yeah. Yeah, we, we fortunate enough to be able to work from home, you feel me? So, y'all let us know how y'all coping with it. Is your family getting on your nerves? How your uh, job's looking? Is everything all right? Do you have COVID? Do you know anybody with COVID? Anything like that? Put it down in the comment section below. We want to see how y'all coping. Without further ado. Wale, sue me, featuring Kelly Price. I ain't heard her in a minute. <laughs> That's my girl. Where she been? She been releasing music to you now? I don't even know. Hey, well, I guess she on this. I love her music, though. Free. Like, hard, hard. Mm -hmm. Let me see what you're talking about. I ain't really been listening to Wale that much lately, either. For real, for real. They're sleeping on a mattress. I always got black people on the crest, melon and oats. Like a black religious figure. Oh, black, black Jesus. Jesus. I mean, that's what pitch posts look like anyway, but I, <laughs> the, the, the. the hood. <laughs> Siren. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Battery died, man. We're going to keep that in there. Let us restart the computer and get back to it. It said 20% though. That shit loud like a bitch. But we ain't there. A reaction is so long. The computer don't even want to rock with it right now, man. All right, we back. Getting the rust off real quick. <laughs> right back into it. Let's do it. That's funny. Giant warn us or nothing. Show your mind that you're behind. Oh. What's that? <laughs> what? On my way to Bootsy Dollar with Hella the White people meet that. I think what I'm gonna tell them when they get alone. I'm a glad for woman I shouldn't yearn for. Shit, yes, I don't pull it. Baby, I like the hurt for. Maybe because I was searching, I found me the. I'm gonna let y'all go ahead and know right off rip. This one of the ones where it's gonna be hard to listen to the lyrics because we're be, we gonna be watching real hard. I know for me, shit. I'm gonna say, you, you watch. I'm gonna try to listen real hard. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna watch. Perfect person, but me and her didn't work out. She buried what you work for. And I carry the bitterness of a cola knot. Now, Jerry and shit, my parents never showed much. Woman, I the probably could have been a feminist because I respect them, but Lord, I got polygamy problems. The hoodie cover bonnets, spend the money, it's therapeutic. The way the shit, they don't think that you care to buy. So we buy a product, but let's see, I like it is not a. Enough of Ari, my favorite is God and tax problems. Pierre Moss, I dropped 10 on my last visit. And half that up in sacks, our favorite black businesses. Assuming I'm rooting for everybody that's black. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Assuming I'm rooting for everybody that's black. Yo, 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 yo. Pretty straightforward hook right there. This shit is interesting. Pretty straightforward hook right there. This shit is interesting. <laughs> Let's continue. Yo. He, he said, sue me. I root for everybody that's black. So, so basically what I'm getting is he, the white guy is going through what black people going through on a daily basis. That's what it looked like. Like roles have been reversed. I mean, it looked pretty clear from all the ads that they were showing and everything. They just said, uh, black people, I mean, white people meet dot com. Mm -hmm. Pull up your pants or something. Don't show your ass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 
and then uh black jesus and everything the people the family on the uh toothpaste the hair mm-hmm. very interesting it, it do give you insight though this is nice for people of uh different races to be able to see you know uh somebody th- that's white to be able to see what we see Cause all this shit is true like band-aids everybody know band-aids a specific color and we, we don't even think about it, but Band-Aids, for real, for real, they made that color to blend in with a particular group of people's skin that ain't ours. Really? Mm-hmm. That's why they that color. When you put them on, it blends in better. Except for the, you know, kids' Band-Aids and stuff. But if in this world, Band-Aids would be brown. So when they put it on, the Band-Aids would just stick out like crazy. But Band-Aids are brown. They, they peachish. Okay. They like a light tan. Just... Just next time, look at the band aid. <laughs> put it on yourself. I'm gonna look right if after you. If you got a, uh, a Caucasian friend, put it on them and see how well the band aid blends in with oh. their skin versus dark skin. Okay. I mean, it still stick out, but it's it's a lot closer. Or oh, I made that up. Don't resist. Stop and freeze. Oh. You ain't got no Jordans on though. Oh. Now it's Wale. Uh, you see the kick chain. More more bucks. Bucks. <laughs> I love me some Issa. I never get even. No one oh, ever screams me. I'm a drunk, I'm a demon. Heaven knows I'm a dreamer. I seen Taraji and Calvin always hope I could be that. I fell in love with her actress acting like she don't need me. Polarizing the sun. Underrated again. Show business and never let you to win. He's trying to order here. No one. Oh. We go. Wow. <laughs> Black. Wow. <laughs> oh. Hold on. Oh, they, oh, hold on. Okay, okay. Oh, man. Hey, it, ain't that an incident that happened or something? But they ignore them. That one. <laughs> That's funny. That's crazy. Hey, there's a little reach. I ain't really seen it that egregious, but fun fact. I've never been to Starbucks, so. It, have I? Yeah, yeah, I've been. I've been. But uh, fun fact, I got a friend that's white. He live in Atlanta. He said he went and he stayed in uh, Decatur around this time. Mm-hmm. He said that that basically happened to him in real life. He said he went to Firehouse Subs, right? Mm-hmm. And he said uh, the first person that came up, like it was a little line. First person that came up was black. He said, hey, man, how you doing? What you want to sell? You having a good day? Da, da, da. He said he got up the dude ain't say nothing. He said he just looked at him. He was like, wait for him to ask him, you he know, what I want to say. Yeah, it, it was this in real life. Oh, wow. And uh, he said, he, he said I would like a so-and-so and dude just started fixing the sandwich or whatever. <laughs> but he didn't say nothing to him. And then he slid it over to the next person doing it. And the next person, hey, man, how's it going? So he really went through that in real life. Because, you know, he was off of the I don't know why he was living where he was living. Probably because the numbers was good, but he said that really happened to him. Mm. Oh, yeah. Are you with him? Say, Yo, man, I don't this know shit that. is deep. Hmm. Look, what? Hoodlums. Oh, thug. Getting the lines on the bus. Okay, assuming I'm rooting for everybody that's black. Everybody be asking my six out of my last. I'm super sick of this business. My dog is missing me, nigga. The whip is gonna repel it, but they gon' kill me with sacks. Niggas really don't clout. They ain't checking the stats. Who a decade or better? Give niggas decade of rap. Respect is in order, hate me better, do it loud. Ooh, for everybody black. Haters say that's crazy, wow. It's crazy. Wow. Ooh, for everybody black, haters say that's wet, wow.
be the pops. So. Yeah, seems like it. Dead. Wow. No touch. What? Shit. <laughs> like he <laughs> waited for him to touch. <laughs> Ooh, I can't wait. Watch. You look good, son. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Here's the one. Your mom let you do that? <laughs> um. Oh, is that like a black person with dreads? What's up? So I want to talk to you about something, and it's it it it, it it's good news. You see the picture of a little boy. It's really good there. news. So I want you to listen to me. Mm -hmm. Um, there are laws being passed right now. Listen to me. There are laws being passed right now, specifically catered to people over the age of 50 with non-violent drug offenses, to be reversed, to be appealed, to be looked at again. People like us. People. Like us. <laughs> what? Not all the same. Well, I'm, I'm letting you know that there's hope, that there's... There's no It isn't real. ...for people that look like us. Okay? <laughs> my, my, I can't even disconnect. Uh, reality. Just when I see it, I can't help but be like, man, he ain't saying that, bro. Right. But it is supposed to paint that picture. But it's just so opposite of what reality yeah. is. My mind won't allow me to say, oh. he won't even allow me to play like this, you know. Not to say, uh, people of different races don't go through things, just, you know, the same thing, but just the people like us. Mm. Hard to disconnect. Have Get the point, though. Left. Right, we're here to play chess. Let's just play chess. Why are you saying that? Make a move. White goes first. I already gave up hope. Living in this bitch dying, bro. The motherfuckers who ain't sick, you know, like me, they just leaving us in this bitch. I'm about to show y'all this tent shit. Hold on. There's a big tent y'all see on the basketball court, that tent right there. They literally putting the dead bodies in that motherfucker. That's what they doing. Nah, they got this fucking law. It's called uh, the CARE Act for niggas like me who not sick, right? The CARE Act is for people who not a gang member, not a sexual offender, and is not on death row. Oh, yeah. If you at risk of fucking catching this shit and dying, like three people I know already caught this shit and died, they can send you home on home confinement, right? So I went to talk to these motherfuckers to get on home confinement. They not gonna let us on home confinement. Why? Because they gotta make money off of us. Because they not gonna make no money if we at home on home confinement. You know what I'm saying? So I'm in this bitch. You feel me? And so the nurse came in this bitch today. I talked to this motherfucker. This bitch tell me, motherfucking, be prepared. You know, half the unit about to die in this bitch. You know, I got less than a year left. I don't wanna die in this bitch. You feel me? I don't mean to cuss or nothing. Y'all might not see me again. I might catch this shit and die. So, you know? It's crazy. Wow. Less than a year. That's why. Dang, I wanted to see more. I ain't gonna lie, that little eight minute went by though. It shit went by quick. It went by. Kudos. That's a good job. Good job with the music, good job with directing the fact that, you know, a video of that length can go by, you know. In a quick period of time. But what if what if life was really like that, like reverse? It'd probably be the same, just different color people. How would you feel if it was reversed? Like you had the privilege. I probably wouldn't feel that. <laughs> I probably like, well, what? Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, well. You think that's how they feel? Yeah. You think that's how white people feel? Well, that's how that's human nature, man. If it ain't uh, most people. Even though a lot won't admit it, the internet kind of helping helping people uh, realize other people's circumstances. But in general, if it ain't happening to you, it don't really matter that much. Even like right now, COVID. Yeah. We ain't we ain't directly impacted. We don't know people that's been impacted. Like, well, we know about the jobs and stuff, but mm -hmm. you know anybody that got it, like really got the yeah. virus? I don't. Yeah. Cause right now it's even though we know it's real, it ain't really real to you until it hits you. I think I already had it for real. Like no lie, I had like this weird dry cough, man. This was like pff, month ago, month and a half ago. I had this weird dry cough, bro. But I'm probably 
I would probably be one of the fortunate ones that's just he- I'm relatively young, healthy, all uh, that. So you know, probably just well, hit. I'm glad you ain't spread it because me and my baby. We yeah, good. Y'all probably gave it to me. <laughs> y'all up there in Virginia. Hey, I ain't even gonna, I ain't gonna, hey. No, the only thing Jack's had was the flu around his birthday. Because he got tested and everything was the flu. Mm. But, but they didn't even have COVID tests. For, 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 they I wasn't mean. talking about COVID when he had the flu. Like yeah. January. Yeah, well, they were just not here like well, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but... I don't know. I feel like I had a little cough or something. So, I mean, and that's another crazy thing. Most of us, all y'all watching, you don't know if you had it already or you not. You don't know probably. if you got it. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of unknowns right now. So, I mean, hey, that is what it is, man. But, yeah, that's an interesting scenario. I think I would probably just go about my daily life to be 100 with you. Well, how would you You think you would <laughs> be like, hey, man, we need to really help this minority group in order to do X, Y, Z. You know what I mean? I don't know because, mm kind of hard to say yeah it's hard to put yourself like what's i said what's going on right now like yeah shit, they ain't helping you know they ain't helping us you know like that i mean hey yeah it's just hard to put yourself in in those shoes and disconnect i think it would just be business as usual just different colors you know what i'm saying but it would be interesting to see like it, in this world it made me interested in this world like is hip-hop still the predominant you know is that do black people still like hip-hop in this world do white people still like Hip hop, nah, they they like a lot of different <laughs> pop, you know, country, that kind of thing. You know what I mean? Would it be, you know, because a lot of hip hop came from the struggle. Without the struggle, you ain't really got hip hop. A lot of what people talking about. That's primarily why people talk about, you know, having all these, uh, all these, uh, what's the word? And it's a simple word. All these materialistic items, yeah. but haven't changed all that. It come from the struggle. So people that struggle are gonna do what when they get some money? They gonna brag about flex. having some. They gonna flex. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so if we didn't have that struggle. I mean, the music would be different. It yeah. would. That's facts. So it it that's pretty dope. It make you think about it. You know, that world and what's going on and be self reflective. I think this is a great video. I think it's dope. I think you know it's what it remind me of Jordan Lucas videos. Yeah. Yeah. The concept. Yeah. Interesting. Definitely. Dope. I like it though. For sure. But hey man, y'all let us know what y'all think about this video down in the comment section below. If the roles were reversed, how do you think you would feel? If you would feel any kind of way, do you think things would be business as usual? Or do you think naturally, inherently, black people are more sympathetic so the world would be fairer, maybe? We're a pretty forgiving group of people, bro. To be a hundred with you. Might not seem like it. We mean sometimes. <laughs> not all, not all of us. I ain't gonna stereotype us, but we very, as a culture, as a whole, I think we very, I think we more forgiving than a lot of uh, other races of people. But anyway, y'all let us know what y'all think. And until next time. Oh, and until next time. Peace.